Dear Muslims, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May the peace and the blessing of Almighty Allah be with you all. Like to welcome you all with Islam in action. One of the statements of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam which reported by Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him that the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Man kanat indahu madlamatun li akhihi min irdihi aw min shay'in fal yatahallalhu minhu al-yawm qabla an la yakuna dinarun wa la dirham. In kana lahu amalun salih ukhidh minhu bi qadri madlamatihi وإن لم يكن له حسنات أخذ من سيئات صاحبه فيحمل عليه رواه البخاري نيريتد ذا بروفيت محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم If any Muslim has oppressed his brother concerning his honor or anything else let him obtain his pardon today in this life before time comes when he will have neither a dirham or dinar that mean money or currency i.e. will be penalized if the aggressor may have some good deeds in his account the same would be deducted in equal proportion to his wrongs. If the aggressor will have no good deeds in his account, the wrongs of the aggrieved would be added to the account of the aggressor in equal proportion. We learn from this hadith that we have to have God conscious that we have to have self-examination. We have to be concerned about any wrong that we did it to anybody. And if we had wronged any person, regardless money, honor, property, whatever it is, that we need to hurry and ask forgiveness from them, while we still living before it comes a time that we could not seek pardon or forgiveness when we are not going to be able to return the property to the lawful owner. In such a day and such a time, no going to be any currency to pay back, no dollar, no dime, no nickel. The only thing will be a means to pay back is the good deed. So if you oppress somebody in this life, in the day of a judgment, Allah will take away from your good deed to pay this person. This if you have a good deed. But if you don't have a good deed, the person that you had wronged him, or hair in this life, Allah will take from their bad deed and will be bought in you. And after this, as a result of this, he may want to be in hellfire. It is our opportunity today, my brothers and sisters, that we try to bring the racket straight and return the property to the lawful owner. If we could not, at least we can ask the people to pardon us. Otherwise, we'll be in trouble if we wait until the day of judgment. Islam wants you to think before it's too late. Islam wants you to do something to correct your action before it's too late. So take this opportunity to correct your action and to try to bring about justice before justice will be taken for somebody else from you and from your God. Beg Allah's forgiveness for me and you and all the Muslims. Thank you for being with us today. Looking forward to see you again 
I'm your host, Muhammad Adli from Colombia, South Carolina. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.